Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Snooker 19 Pro Career with Neil Robertson and today is time for the start of the penultimate tournament of the season. Today we start the Fahua Group World Snooker China Open or as we're going to call it for the whole tournament, the China Open. It's far easier and far quicker. Uh, it's part 67 of season 3 today and for those of you who are keeping cake, it's part 184 of the series as a whole. And this is not going to be an easy match, the gap is not as wide as you might think. It is there's only 38 places between ourselves and Andrew Higgins. And I believe that we haven't played Higgins before. I actually didn't check um, our previous matches before I played this one. But I'm fairly sure that we've never played Andrew Higginson before. Now, two years ago, we only got to the last 32 of this event. Meaning we only won £11,000. There is a jackpot of 225000 if we can go and win this thing. I mean, just imagine the difference between eleven grand two years ago and 225 so 214,000 pounds um, as a net gain on the rankings up for grabs here and that would firmly put us into the top eight but it's going to be a long it's going to be a long way to that day um, and certainly a big ask to go all the way in uh, the second most lucrative tournament of the season but let's get on with it shall we for the first match of the tournament now usually there are qualifiers for the china open but it seems that in game this is something that hasn't been added so we just start at the last 64 stage. A quicker match today, luckily. I have just put it on medium matches for this uh, singular match. So it usually would be a best of nine. This is a best of five. But if we do go through against Andrew Higginson today, then it will be best of nines. Hopefully, at least. I have set the matches to long for the next round. Hopefully, will be a best of nine from the Hello, last 32 from onwards. And, of course, Welcome. that will just get larger and larger, uh, the number of frames, as we go through time. But just a bit of a disclaimer today. It is awfully hot. It is absolutely burning hot. So, if you can hear fans, etc., in the background, um, I do apologise. But there was a thought. I thought, oh, God, I can't record this. But I thought, no, we'll record it. And if it gets unbearable, well, that's why you won't be seeing it on Wednesday. But uh, I think we should be all right for... Uh, a best of five game. I don't think the heat should get too unbearable. But thank God this heat wave is uh, going away in the next few days. Then we can fully focus on some of the longer matches. But I expect to beat Andrew Higginson today. But I guess you just never know. It depends what sort of form we turn up in here. But I think we've got to be motivated. Um, knowing that we can make up a lot of prize money in this Top tournament. Chance, a lot of ranking prize money crucially. And really help uh, our ranking going into the biggest event of the year, really the nice Betfred World Championship. So we're off One. to a decent start. Uh, Higginson did leave an open red off the break off. But a lot of work to do here in this break. Not necessarily just a one visit thing. I don't know if you did gather, but I am recording everything uh, on a daily basis at the moment. He's aiming to sink this. For the first time in quite a while, actually. I'm not ahead at all. What a top pot that was. On my YouTube content, oh, but... wonderful shot. suppose so. you guys don't know whether it was recorded yesterday. I mean, I was going to say three years ago, but the game only came out a year ago, so that's impossible. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is a decent start oh. for us here. Don't like that shot, though, much. I have to say, we've uh, mucked that one up a little bit. And this red does go to the corner pocket, so I'm going to take that on, just as a... Insurance policy, if you like. Just don't like that one down the cushion. Although this is missable, to be fair. The right corner here. Very missable. I don't like the angle. In it goes. But no, it's there. It's fine. And we get two for really the price of one, funnily enough. But yeah, I just wasn't comfortable with the shot before. And we learned quite a bit, I think, in the Championship League 14. from shots we played that if you're not comfortable, uh, you know, we're playing it at the end of the day. Unless, of course, it is just a shot to nothing. Which I don't think that was. So four reds. Seven three colours. This shot looks a little bit more appetising now that uh, we're a little bit further away from it. We're getting a little bit more angle on it, you see. Is black in contention? I know it wouldn't be for our next shot, but... Uh, mm, I think because of that red that's right next to it, it's actually out of contention to pot, so... And I have to stay on this blue for a little bit, provided we do pop this red. It's not a, it's not a gimme. 18. Drops in nicely though. And to be honest, we're not that brilliant in terms of our position on the blue, so uh, I have to hit well, this and hit and hope here. Hope we get some position. 
Brilliant, Paul. Outstanding. And this doesn't look too bad. Now. Depends where it ends up. Are we going to develop that red off the cushion? Oh, we don't move it, unfortunately. Twenty-one. That's a shame. This one goes, though. As you can tell, we haven't quite got the cue ball on a string in this break. But that was a decent recovery pot. Again, couldn't get the best position. 22. So I think this time we just play the safety shot. Try and come off two cushions. I like that. A little bit uh, hard, if anything. Just a little bit, but... 22. A well, uh, well intentioned shot there. And a pretty good uh, reply from Higginson, to be honest. I don't really fancy taking any of these on, to be honest. If we can just get this cue ball onto the cushion. Just looking. So if it's here, for example, he can't take. Well. I wouldn't think he'd take that one on the cushion on. Put a bit of pace into it. Not too much, but just a bit, so it, it just avoids any chance of him taking that on. Put a bit too much pace into that, though, I think. It's okay, because none of these go, apart well, from obviously the one. Shot, but not it's a bit of a finished for. cut, but no, he's uh, not liking that, so we get away with that somewhat. It's a good shot, though, from uh, Higginson. He's going to need uh, a good reply and a bit of luck as well, of course. Come on, cue ball. No. Nope. Well, black covers the one, but if you're leaving two reds on, you're pretty well, lucky not worked out quite as he intended it to. to get both of them safe. So after a fairly meagre start of 22, it would have been a you know it would have been a really good shot if we'd have got the original safety right, but because he could just see a red. And then we did embroil ourselves now, in the safety battle. Into the right corner. And now we're just going to have to sit down for a bit. One. I can't believe how hot that computer gets. It's only been on for the best part of ten minutes. Six. Incredible. Seven. These reds are actually nicely positioned now. Maybe barring one or two. He's lining this one up to the middle pocket. No issues there. But a very low scoring frame so far. Doesn't matter. The player who gets the most points gets the frame. Can't all be fancy centuries. 14. But I fancy Higginson here, you know, to, to uh, get a break that's sufficient enough to win the frame. 21. And that's not necessarily me trying to put a jinx on him. I hope he misses, obviously. I think this is a decent chance. Anyone worth their metal would take this. Twenty-nine. Is he going to have to take this one to the middle pocket? I think he's misjudged right that a little bit. Here. Oh, good pot. Nicely opens up those reds. Very smart Two. shot. So, I mean, it's not a gimme that we get through to the next round. On this aiming aid, it's not necessarily that we win all the matches. So I think the further we get into a tournament, the more comfortable we get. But well, as you can see, he's uh, made a mistake. So he's just lined it up behind the red. We're going to try and uh, get the cue ball back up to the bulk line. But, well, that was a stinker. Whatever you do, don't hit the blue. Not what he intended at all. Be Not been the best start that. from us here. Just giving him another chance. That's what he was hoping for. He's aiming for the left corner here. It's not the easiest one to take on though, but he's brilliantly oh, slotted it in. Really nice shot. Confidence and on a bit of a roll at the moment. One eight. Can't argue with this play from Higginson. Nine. Great shot. 
Just look at that for a positional shot. Superb. He leads by 27. This frame could very quickly become his. But where's his cue ball going? Oh. Well, you know you're getting the look of the draw sometimes, don't you? My God. But one bad shot leads to another. But oh my God, has he got away with that? Has he got away with that? A treat. What a shot that is. Goodness me. Can't quite believe that. Pace is key with this shot. He doesn't want to overhit it. Well, we've hit the red. But are we going to get the same sort of look? I doubt it. That's beautifully judged. He'll be trying to get the cue ball safe. Oh, no, it's not in a potting position. So he did pretty well to get out of that. That's a nice shot, though. That's a fine snooker. Well played. I'm conscious of fitting the colours on the way back. So I'm just going to try and hit this as thin as possible. Even if we do hit those colours, then not this. we don't uh, leave anything too dangerous. But look at where this has ended up. Oh, he's managed to get out of the snooker, but I think well, that could have ended stuff. a lot nicer. But actually, he's still not left a potting opportunity. But that's a nice target, and Higginson's just playing with us here, isn't he? That's an excellent shot and a challenging snooker. I don't know if we can uh, get out of this and potentially try and pot it in the middle pocket. I don't think we've got anything to lose by doing so, particularly. Well, I think he's going to attempt the swerve here. Oh, he's fortunate there. well, that looked like it was going to drop in, then didn't, and then did. That was a nice shot, but look at all oh. these, uh, look at all these balls here. This is, uh, I can't remember a, a frame that's been anywhere near to this in terms of where all the colours are. Unbelievably, three of those colours are still going to be on their spots. <laughs> Doesn't bleed and look like it. They should be. But they are. This should be pretty simple. The yellow's there. That's fine. That's play with some uh, top there to get on the green. Seven. If we can win this frame, that'd be a right comeback. And just from an opportunistic shot. Fancied it, we sighed of that red fin to the middle pocket, but we played a cracking shot. Okay, maybe a little bit lucky. But sometimes you need a bit of luck in this game. If you don't get any luck, you don't get anywhere. And this actually... Not as terrifying as our first thought. In terms of positions, but that was a bit of a sloppy shot. 14. So we're going to need a good pot here. I think we're just going to commit to the pot, you know. Just commit to the pot, and I think the position for the middle pocket should come. Just don't want to it's hit really this any good. harder than we need to. Hmm. If we get away with it, though, I think. Neil Robertson. Where's that black? Just the blue needed now. Oh, he can get to the blue. Well, would you believe that? Pot. Brilliant. It's the way of the game sometimes, isn't it? It's the, the way of the game. Frame. Missed that blue by quite a way, to be honest. You know, it was our uh, poor potting attempt, but really it was our safety before, which was the poor shot. But uh, fair enough to frame, Higginson. Higginson. He deserved the frame, yeah, really. The frame. It was just a case of... So a bit of a fluke, really, that we got back into the frame. And it would have been unfair on him for us to... Bring it back, but it would have been lovely to do so. But this is a bit of a must-win frame, really. I think it's 2 nil down, the way, we're the way we're playing at the moment. It puts under real pressure. What a story this would be, going out to the last 64. But we're only one frame in yet. We shouldn't really start getting all excited. Well, not excited, but all worried. But Higginson has potted a red here. Seems to be a bit invigorated. He's got a real Looking like here. a top 16 play with that sort of shot. He's lining this one up to the middle pocket. 
Surely after all that work in the Gibraltar Open, Not really what he was intended. with uh, he rubbish was prize money, Nine. getting all the way to the final, surely we, we uh, can't bottle it at a tournament like this. Andrew Higginson, Nine. But uh, that's the end of that break. Let's try and get a thin snick on this red and come back up the table. He doesn't want to lose the white here. He could leave an opportunity. That's okay, I think. Need a bit of pace on this cue ball, mind you. Mm, which we haven't really got. It's the problem with playing side. You just never know where it's going to end up. Safe. And you have to say, Higginson's a man who's been given plenty of chance at the moment. This is starting to get a little bit worrying. It's the sort of match you'd like to polish off 3-0. Sometimes this into the these early rounds market. can be the toughest. Once you get into your stride, Wonderful you can shot. whitewash a player sometimes. One. At the later rounds, we saw that against Mark Allen, didn't we, in the uh, Gibraltar Open? Was it the, yeah, it was semi-final, I think, wasn't it, at the Four. Gibraltar Open? If we whitewash Mark Allen, he'll be disappointed with that. But that's a little bit careless from Higginson. I think if we play to Andrew our Higginson, proper form, we're uh, a much more clinical player than he's just shown. Take on a bit of an opportunistic chance yes, here. Yes, he's taking the pot on. Nope, but I know it's no, hard no, enough to not this time. bring the ball back into the pack. Can he get past these two colours? I don't so think he can. Oh, he can, you know. Right well, I'm wrong. And he's potted another red. One. Sometimes if your opponent's playing poorly, as we are at the moment, you just need to keep knocking in a few, and the opportunity will eventually come to get a significant break. But again, this is starting to worry me a little bit. Final of the Gibraltar Open. Playing decently in the Championship League. A few uh, poor matches, but... I have to say, to go out here would be a huge disappointment. And you would say that, due to the, the coding of the game, if you like, most of our top 16 friends are pretty much guaranteed to get into the last 16. 12. And we'd lose a lot of ground in the rankings. But we shouldn't start 13. thinking like that just yet. 18. So as you can see, after that break of 18, it's again having to be a safety from Higginson. Andrew Higginson, 18. But he's given us a nice chance to get started with here. He's taking on the long red to the corner pocket. Good part. That's a beauty. One. That was a nice chance for a starter. Now, is it time for main course? You'll be looking to get back into the frame here. Nice kiss on the pink, don't mind that. Six. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Can That's we start to show some uh, some flair? I think we need to. Seven. If we lose this frame, things start to become a little bit worrying. That's a take on the yellow here, so. We leave a little bit of the positional to fight this of this shot down to look. I think it should be goes. okay. Yeah, it is. And funnily enough, the pink goes back and it's nice. to its original decision. A uh, decision position. That it was uh, at the start of the break. Well, he lost the cue ball a touch. Would have wanted we have that lost the cue ball a touch, really. I agree. Ten. Pop the pink and just take advantage of the touch on the blue. Hmm. I think he's lost position here. Sixteen. Yeah. I would agree. Not quite going our way at the moment. But at least we've covered that one on the cushion. Brilliantly played. 
We're just going to have to keep fighting through this hope that we get a chance. And that ultimately we can take it. But that already looked like a good starter. And the ball's a little bit more spread well, now. Looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. And this is our domain. We've been known for it in tournaments so far this year. It's been a rocky year. No but uh, when well, we played to our best, we have been definitely a prolific break builder. Playing for the middle pocket. One visit snooker. Has uh, been what we've spot. been brilliant at, but look at where that red's going to end up. Oh, well, wow. where the cue ball's going to end up, sorry. You couldn't write this, could you? You could not write this. There's no way of getting that round to pot. You couldn't write it. You really couldn't. I'll have to just give this a whack and hope for the best. Try and get the cue ball safe. And to be honest, we've not done a terrible job there. Neil Robertson, seven. Unbelievable how our luck is at the moment, though. I don't know whether he intended to hit the red like that, but it's worked. He'll have to be very careful with the pace here. Oh, I like that. That's not bad. Again, there is a sniff on this red. Not going to take it on though, no. I fancy the red though. Top now in our look, up. we'll end up snookered behind a red. I mean, it wasn't far off. It was not far off. Sometimes you just can't get a break, apart from when that lovely yellow is your best friend. Looking to play this with a lot of power. Thank God that yellow was brilliant, there. Brilliant pot. Really need to take this chance now. Or else this could be a hugely damaging frame. He's aiming for the left corner here. Nicely done. Just hope if we can win this frame we pick up a bit of momentum. Four. But this is scrappy if you ever thought if you ever saw something that was scrappy. This pink puts in the lead, thank goodness. Ten. I think we should be okay now. But again, you just never know. Eleven. I'm trying not to make a comment well about the heat. Because that seems to be the only talking point at the moment. <laughs> trying to concentrate He's that right much. On top of his game at the moment. 17. Thinking about the heat isn't going to win us a snooker match, is it? 18. So this pink... What's us 15 ahead? Is it 15? Might be 14. I think it was 32 and 41 the scores, weren't they? So yeah, it would be 15, Pillock. That's right, 15 ahead with 27 left. Just the colours now. Yellow, green and brown. And we get our first frame on the board. 26. And hopefully we can kick on from here. I think the longer this game goes on, the more worried I'm going to get. Nice positioning for the brown. Obviously, I don't want to rush anything, but Easy it would enough. be great to to win the next frame. Obviously, if we don't, then it just makes things just the brown a little bit worrying. Brown. Obviously, we'll need the next two after that, but a good pot on the brown. That should be Finally, it. our first no frame. Could have very easily had the last the one, but now. things went uh, against us. And I think one each is probably a fair reflection of how the match has gone here. so far. Beautifully done. 
And this could be a nice clearance. Just the black to go. 44. And now we've got our queuing arm going. Needs to be played. Looking pretty place. decent. So the black's there. Two frames gone of a potential five. And it's one each. Whew, break of 51. Got to be the maximum the of the match, I would have thought. That's the frame in the bag. Bit of scrappy one, though, certainly. So Higginson well, to break for the third frame. To a very tight match. Both players refusing to give any ground here. Neither I think Higginson would quite like to get through here. here. I can see this going into okay, a it's only £6,000 more than getting to the last 64. But in terms of the Andrew rankings, Higginson that could be massive when you're below the top 15. But this is a decent chance to get ourselves started. He's taking it on. This is the sort of chance that just screams one visit snooker. One. Surely that black passes the red. Surely it does. If we get one lucky there, I might just cry. It doesn't. It does not pass the red. Would you Adam and Eve it? Luckily, though, the red passes the black. So then we'll use the blue. Long pot. Right and up then his get street. rid of that red. It's a hindrance. It needs to go away. What a it's too close to the cushion, is. though, that. He's played that very well. Not ideal. Six. And unfortunately, we're going to have to cannon the black. So we might as well just hit this with pace and see uh, where we end up. Hmm. Seven. Well, there you go. Well, that so was an interesting right shot. Corner. But when you're playing it at that pace, and yeah, you just have no idea where it's going to end up. But we missed the green. Could do with this pink uh, help on a set here, which it does, luckily. Neil Robertson. Well, that could have been a really damaging shot if we played it at a huge amount of pace. So, screamed one visit, did it? Well, if you meant one visit was going to be seven points, then sure. Funny old game, this, isn't it? Funny old game. I thought he might have gone in off there. So bonkers this match is still. That's an excellent and we get shot. the black uh, free. And now uh, some pesky reds come to join it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's not going to be one of them one visit frames, is it? This is an intriguing safety battle. Could probably play a best of nine by the time these fri three frames are finished. To be honest, they're not taking that long. But I think it's just... How the match is going and uh, stuff like that. It's just making it very seem very long-winded. And again, to make a nice customary comment, the heat. Now, I left that one on the cushion on because I didn't think he'd fancy that. But who knows, he might do. You just never know in these situations. He's taking on the pot along he the He is cushion. taking it on. Oof, when he's missed it. That's really close, but not, not quite by a long enough. way, but by enough. And for a bit of first fortune of the day, he's going for we can just about pocket. see that red. Signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. Hm. One. But again, this isn't a uh, easy chance. Got to pop the green here, really, for the best position. Very aware, of course, he's of where the cue ball could have ended up. He's taking this on. Come on, green ball. This looks good to me. That's a nice pop. Tremendous that shot. just sets us up nicely. A good positional Four. shot there. So what can we do from here? He's it's not the best chance in the world, the right but... Corner. It's a chance just to accumulate some points. Well, an excellent pot. Great queuing there. Five. Can you put your phone on silent, please? 
Yes, put your phone on silent, I agree. Not a problem we're having, of course, at the moment. At the crucible. Ten. Now, can you drop this um, into the right I don't want to get totally straight on this pink, but I want to have a fairly nice shot to play. I do have an technique. angle to go Superb into these reds, viewing. and, uh, well, Eleven. unfortunately that was uh, a bit uh, rubbish, the word. I think it probably is, so just pop the pink and try and go for the edge red. The only thing we can do, well played. or if not, I suppose the one that's uh, fairly near the black. Not the worst idea in the world, actually. Looking to play this softly. Make it up as we go along, eh? Huh. I will just check that red on the edge of the pack goes. Then it makes our positioning for this uh, next shot a little bit easier. Oh, it will if we get such an angle on it. We just need to be careful we, we do get that angle. I have hit it slightly. And we might not be on this. Very nicely done. Twenty five. Luckily though, the snooker gods have given us a bit of luck. That's How's your really pace? Split, and this is a real opportunity. I don't mind that split, and the cue ball has ended up in a brilliant position on the black. Twenty six. But I'm just gonna play the bloom. Again, we don't want to risk anything here. This needs good striking more here. than we need to. And this is the best chance here. we've had so far in the match. To go and clear up and put us one away from the next round. In a match that, really, we just want over as soon as possible. But with a good result, of course. Tremendous shot. The longer we go in this match, the more we could very easily trip up. But this has been very much a one-way frame. But not over yet. 34. Would you believe it? Huh. Yeah, well. You have to question why I played that Neil at that Robertson, pace. 34. This won't be easy. That was silly. But uh, uh, a bit strange taking that Brilliant on. But to be shot. fair, he's potted it. You can't argue with that. One. Yeah, it was stupid that was. Six. Just get a bit complacent at times. Challenging pot along the cushion here. But he's already missed the red. But luckily, <laughs> as he seems to have a fair amount of in this match so far, it's uh, it's safe. Is there a plant on there? I think there is. I'm not going to bother though. <laughs> I'm just going to take the safe road. Because if we miss that plant, Shot then the balls can or here. go everywhere. And we don't want that. But I think that plant was on. About halfway there in this frame. We've just made it a bit of a slanging match at this point. A bit of a that dreaded. Uh... Just wants to get the cue ball safe here. Ha! How'd you like that? I just thought. I thought. Sod it. One. Let's give it a go. Give it a whirl. And that's. Uh, I think probably one of the first plants I've ever potted. I don't mind that. That was a good pop, but That's just uh, playing safe here. Well. Don't want to take any risks. I'm Neil quite Robinson. proud of that, you know. One. How's his look going to be? Not bad. That's a great escape there. But I think uh, that earlier miss is a wake-up well, call now. Got him out the most this opportunity. That's an absolutely outstanding pop. What about that for a positional shot? Perfect. That's what I love about snooker. One. Sure, class is uh, permanent and all that, but if you switch off for a second in this game, it can all fall to pieces. Six. Ten. 
So what's the gap then with three reds to go? This will make it 49. So pink and red. Is going to the left and we go ahead here. for the first time in the match. Excellent shot. Simply wonderful. 13. Just this red needed. This is the key shot. If this goes in, you fancy him for the frame. Nicely done. No issues there. And that shuts the door on his opponent in this frame. Not going for position here. I just want to play the safety and have the frame over with. That should mean no way back he ain't going to come back now. 56 uh, 20. away. 43 to play for. Surely we've uh, hit that red. Be ridiculous if we hadn't. Neil Robertson. Whew, thank God for that. And Higginson concedes. We lead for the first time today. This is a strange old match. Can very easily get sucked in to just having a joke of it, as we, as we have a little bit. Here you go. Have a bit of a smile, but you can get sucked into that game very quickly, and then, oh, we're out of the tournament. So we need to start taking things seriously, as we have. I mean, even if you open the like, um, third customary heat comment, even if you open the window, you just get nothing. Nothing but hot, hot air. Well, this is a half chance, but looking at the position, it seems best just to play a safety. Where's the cue ball going to end up? Just on the bulk line just falling short of being level with that yellow and brown and yeah I thought he might take that on a bit braver than me the angle was just better for position there there's a few decent chances to get himself started in this frame Six. the last thing I want in this fourth comment yeah, slap myself on the wrist fourth time, uh, fourth times. In this heat, the last thing I want is a final frame decider. I thought, well, at least we're playing Higginson today. We'll, we'll win 3 0. Of course, I didn't think, well, did I? It's up for you to decide. Hmm. It's up for you guys to to ponder. Loose shot. That's a shocker. That Andrew is a Higginson, shocker. Six. Tell you what, one thing I've said more than the heat to get today is he's bloody got away with that. I'm gonna take this on though. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. Yeah, good pop. That's a beauty. Don't think we'd have left too much on if we'd have missed it. One. Might have left we up the odd red, but I think it was a risk worth taking. Hopefully, so, we can keep Andrew in his seat right for a bit now. Excellent pot. Four. This is really tricky. Good pot. pot. That's right out of the top drawer. A little bit awkward on the blue, I have to say. So, this pink goes, which it just does. Quite happy to play that. Yeah. He's aiming for the left corner here. Ah, that's a top shot. That's a wonderful. Can we wonderful wrap this pop. game up in this frame? I bloody yeah. well hope so. Another one of these opportunistic shots that's into split. the pack. That's really open the that looks pretty good here. to me. Twelve. This is a good chance. Not a perfect one, but it's a good chance of finishing this game off. 17. But I think we've overcut that. Something I've said again a few times today. So another recovery here needed. Need to improve Lining some of our positional shots pocket. if we're going to get through and uh, go far in the Shiner Excellent Open, pop. most certainly. He's finished a bit awkward here. I mean, even that wasn't perfect. 18. Pink being over the pocket's a real nuisance there. I'm going to play the green. At least we can get a little bit of leverage to 
screw the cue ball back. He's looking to pop this into the right corner. Not ideal. Twenty one. Oh. Ay, caramba. I said uh, we'd lost position a bit. And after some of the shots we played there, well, we deserve that sort of fight. Good thing is, though, we know the pink's covering that corner pocket. And I think we've covered the one Excellent to the other corner pocket shot. with that green. Neil Robertson, yeah, we have. Ooh, that's a thick hit on the way back. And uh, I was nearly going to say it. Not quite, though. Not quite got away with that. Let's get the pink out of there. One. You have to question what I'm thinking of at times. What a, I mean, why did we play it like that? What a strange shot. He's playing the safety and aiming to get the cue ball tight against the cushion. It's a good Neil shot. Robertson, seven. I just think we're making this harder for ourselves with some of our shot selection. Finally, that red's really on. Tough shot. And it hasn't worked out all that well. But I think blue and... Uh, uh, sorry, pink and black are out of commission. And we just no, got to treat... Oh, no, the pink should be all right, I think. There. Really good. We just got to treat... Yes, it's fine. One. We just got to treat this like it's the last shot chance. The last chance we're going to get all day. Well, looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. And treat it as such. Because some of the shots we've played have been stupid. Really impressive queuing. Really need to sort ourselves out here. I think if Higginson loses this match in this frame, he can feel a bit hard done to. How the hell do you get position here? Again, this is a very fine shot, and given some of our shots we played today, I would hazard a guess that we're not going to get position here, but you never know. We might just get lucky once. Played that very well. No, position's there. 18. Good. Just a few more shots now. 15. Problem is, position here isn't going to be easy. This is an easy. Hitting this at pace, the centre pocket. But the centre pocket's Excellent. nice. So this is the last easy red. Twenty-one. This will put us what? He's looking to pop Forty-four this ahead. Right corner. Fifty with a pink. Great shot. Wonderful pot. Outstanding effort. Hmm. Twenty-two. Position's a bit off there. Yellow might be our best chance to get on the cushion. Maybe knock this red out of the way. See what happens. Nicely done. He's playing very well. That's a nice shot. Twenty-four. Let's develop that red. It's left it in a possible position. Well, he's taking. And now our aim just gets corner. a little bit easier, provided we've hit that with enough pace. And I'll tell you what, we haven't, have we? Oh my God, you muppet! You muppet! He'll want to try and eliminate errors like that. I thought that as soon as I hit it, I thought, no, that's Neil not going to reach the pocket. Well, if there's one rule of the game, it is if you get a chance, you take it. And Higginson, if you put the boot, uh, the shoe on the other foot, I suppose, has now got that very chance to give himself a chance in this game. If this goes down to a decider now, I'll be so annoyed. One. And, uh, we don't want to jeopardise our chances by getting all frustrated, but it can easily happen. That was really a chance for us. 
And after developing that red so nicely off the cushion, it was so stupid just to go and play it with that sort of pace. It was never going to go in. But is he playing the safety here? Well, safety of sorts, potentially. Andrew Higginson. I'll tell you what, and he got away with that. <laughs> We're about the sixth time today. Quite unbelievable. What Higginson's got away with so far today. I don't know many shots he's missed that he's uh, left much on. But we're nearly there. 40 ahead, 59 remaining. This attack a good pot. Yeah, he's uh, miles away. And again, he's... <laughs> oh, dear. Pretty much got away with that. Might as well go for the half chance here. The rest makes this a little more difficult. Just never know when that red looks okay. But it's just missed. Close. Well... But not quite. That could have been a bit of an ill-informed shot. Very easily could clean up here. One. Thing is, he's got two reds. Well, three reds, arguably Tremendous on cushions. Shot. Seven. But that one is a little bit easy to pot. The one that he's going to come up and pot now. I'd say he's the favourite for the frame, but only just. Eight. Well, oh, is that going to hit the brown? Idea. He's not oh. finished in a great position, that's for sure. That's a shame for him. 15. I'm not bothered. <laughs> well, he's got it. Great shot. He's angled us, shaky git. 15. Oh, I don't know. He's attempting to swerve the cue ball here. Well, we've missed it. So they get a few more points. You just can't believe it when your opponent gets luck like this, can you? Attempt. He's angled us Foul in the pocket, miss. but he's going to uh, potentially prime put us in some more trouble. Not such a good shot that time. Let's see if we can leave this cue ball. Hmm. Not quite where we were looking to get, but it's safe. That's all that matters. Pretty safe here. How has this frame got to this? Oh, I'll never know. And that's not a bad shot that's either, you know. Excellent safety. Well, I'm just going to try and get this uh, ball somewhere down the table. Just pray it's not possible. So he's looking to play oh, safe again. Dear. This is fascinating. It's not possible though, at least. He's just playing safe. <sighs> he doesn't like to leave us anything easy to this chap, does he? He fancies this red. I just think at this point, why not take a red on? Because sometimes wow, it'll just go in. That is. Surely this is the end of our ordeal now. Surely. Oh dear. I know this seems a very stupid shot to play given the circumstances. Well, he's taking it on. But it should be okay. Yet, yeah. black's okay. It's potted. That's okay, I think. Not I mean, ideal. the cue balls ran far too long, really. Eight. And our ordeal might well continue here. We just need the red. Can't get it, unfortunately, at the moment. But this saga just goes on and on and on. And surely we've hit the red there. Please say we've hit the red. Particularly now we've put him in that position. That's the result he was after. Oh, thank God Bill for Robinson, that. Eight. Is he going to get out of this? He is. He's left a half chance. Successfully gets out the snooker. This is match ball, and what a strange match this has been Just so far. Needed. <laughs> He'll be looking to tighten up his game here. Oh, dear. If you're still watching, credit to you. This has been uh, He's playing for the incredible. Right and he'll pop the red. If he brings this back to two it. each now, like I said, I might just cry. To be fair, we've given him plenty of chances. There have been a few wow. opportunities where we should have just closed this game really out. Is a great opportunity. Needs all the colours. He's certainly capable. Seven. Twenty-eight. 
20 behind with 22 on. He's going to do this. Oh, sorry, 19 behind with 22 on. He's going to do this, isn't he? He's going to do it. 14. I don't think I can play another frame. I don't think I can play another frame. Miss this pink, please. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Oh, dear. It comes down to the black. At least he's not really on this. <laughs> He'll pot this, you know. He'll pot it. Oh, he doesn't. Thank God. Andrew Higginson. Jesus. At least we can laugh. How has it got to this? How has it got to this last black? I really don't know. If we pot this, we've won the match. If Higginson pots it, he takes it to a final frame decider. Video's been over 50 minutes now. Incredible. He's going to go for it, isn't he? He's missed it. And he's left. <laughs> he's left the ball out of the pocket. Surely, this has got to be the last shot of the match. Oh, thank Christ for that. I'm going to throw in a fifth comment about the heat. In that heat, and with some of the way that was going, that has just messed with my head completely. A highest break of only 51. But we have beaten Andrew Higginson by three France to one. And we're into the last 32 at the China Open. What a bizarre match all round that was. And uh, a bit of a different episode. How strange that was. But we're into the second round. Um, it is best of nine, which is great to hear. We play Lu Hoishan in the next round. Fully looking forward to that. And uh, it is fair to say I definitely need a break before that match. But what a strange match that was. If you enjoyed that bit of humour to lighten up your day. I mean, at least we won, eh? That would have been uh, some pretty dark humour should we have lost. But what a strange match that was. But if you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts, of course. Subscribe for plenty of Snooker 19 content on a Monday, Wednesday and on a Friday at uh, 6 p.m. British time. Thank you for watching. I can't take any more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.